Hi and welcome to our channel. In this video I will be showing you four make ahead Christmas gravies that you can use with or even without the drippings, at least some of them. To make the gravies we're gonna use uh, standard ingredients like wine but also seasonal ones like oranges and gingerbread. Those gravy recipes go so well with poultry and beef. I guess this is what most of us will be having at the Christmas day. First gravy that I will be talking about is the classic German roast gravy that goes well with any meat. For this gravy to taste well, we're gonna need the drippings for the extra flavor. First we're gonna prepare the roux, so we're gonna take butter and we're gonna melt it in the pot. Then we're gonna add some flour and stir until it combines and then we're gonna wait 3 to 4 minutes. Next step it will be to add some tomato puree to the roux. Then we're gonna keep on stirring with a whisk so all those combine. Now it is time to add red wine. I am uh, using a dry wine. Here you're gonna start stirring very vigorously and then wait one minute or two until the alcohol evaporates. The last step it would be to add a fawn. I am using uh, a duck fawn because that's gonna be the gravy that I'm gonna make for duck roast. I like using fawn for gravies because it uh, doesn't contain salt so I can reduce it as much as I like and if you are a regular subscriber you know that I love thick sauces. At this point we're gonna reduce the gravy because it's still pretty thin and after 30 minutes it was actually good enough. Then as you can see I added the drippings. And as you can see, that was very messy because I don't have this fat separator. I ordered it. It is actually pretty useful, especially at the Christmas time with all those Advent dinners. In the end, I have seasoned it with salt, pepper, balsamic vinegar and sugar and my gravy was ready. It was delicious. The next Christmas gravy that I will be talking about is the cherry gravy and it also goes very well with a poultry. To make it I'm gonna need a cherry juice from the uh, sour cherries from the jar and also port wine. I'm gonna cook those on medium heat for five minutes and then I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of sour cherries and sugar some lemon as well and then because the gravy is still pretty thin I will be adding some mondamin uh, which uh, thickens the sauce. If you don't have mondamin you can use cornstarch or buamania which is a flour and butter mixture. So don't forget to put some salt and pepper to the sauce because you don't want to have a kirschgrötze. You can also add some drippings if you have those. I love actually serving this sauce with a duck breast. It is seriously my favorite combination. The next sauce that goes so well with duck, goose or sour roast is the gingerbread gravy. And for this, we're gonna need a good amount of onions that we're gonna fry on butter. We're gonna salt the onions, of course, and then we're gonna wait until they get translucent. Then we're gonna add some red wine and wait a few minutes until the alcohol evaporates. Next, we're gonna add some fawn. I am using uh, this gravy for sour roast, uh, so I will be using a beef fawn. This gravy, we're not gonna use any flour or starch or mondamin to thicken it because we're gonna use the ginger bread that will uh, thicken the sauce. As soon as you add the gingerbread, you wanna wait actually around 10 minutes until it dissolves. And then voila, you can have a look how thick this gravy actually is. And by the way, this gravy isn't actually as sweet as you might think. Uh, the gingerbread that I used wasn't as sweet and the onions make it pretty savory. So uh, yeah, it's just got this really interesting taste. 
So anyway, we're gonna get rid of the onions, so we're gonna put uh, the gravy through the sieve. Gravy at this point's got this wonderful onion flavor already, so we don't need them. And at this point, your gravy is ready. Just look at this color, it's so wonderful and brown and incredibly a real treat, even without the drippings. And the next gravy that tastes really well without the dripping, drippings is the orange gravy. So to make it, we're gonna need some onions. We also gonna need a juice from two oranges, an additional orange for decoration, if you like. So first we will be frying onions on butter until translucent. Then we're gonna add some uh, red wine, but really not a lot of it. At this point we can also thicken it, so I am using a bit of flour to do so. And then I added a duck fond because I will be serving it with a duck. Next I'm gonna add the freshly squeezed orange juice and contro. And because I like my gravy pretty thick, I'm gonna cook it for a while. Then I'm gonna add the lingonberry jam, which gives a bit of sweetness and sourness to the gravy. Last thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the gravy through the sieve because you don't want those onion neither. There you go, I think that the gravy is pretty nice and thick at this point. If you have drippings, you can add the drippings to it and if you like, you can also add some uh, orange. I actually only cut it half orange in the small cubes. It looks insanely good. And by the way, I'm gonna put all the recipes to all those gravies in the description box down below for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy it. Next week I will be posting a video on how to prepare a roasted goose or duck because this is uh, the most viewed uh, blog post on my blog and I think that might come in handy uh, before the Christmas time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to create a video that showcases um, many dishes uh, for Christmas this year because the daycare has been actually closed for the past one and a half weeks and um, apart from giving tours um, uh, take care of my son who is 24 uh, 7 with us so for the moment it is actually pretty difficult to find the time to do anything else but I know that you will understand that anyway thank you very much for watching stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on my next one <laughs> bye